the medium pack here. I think Black Faden is still a great card. There are some new ones. I've heard good things about that card. There's also Kiki Yiki and Through the Breach, but I think Black Faden keeps me the most open. It's weird to say to take a two color card over a one color card, but these are more narrow in the things you want to do with them. I think I can take expressive iteration, a bit better than counter spell, I think. Just a, basically a two mana draw two, as long as you can play the card right away. The off color talisman is not as tempting. Red good stuff here. Now there is sneak attack, and then I can maybe try and wheel through the breach, and I will be having a good setup for that. These two cards are both pretty good. It's because they are digging you towards your action cards. Next best situation, you can always put the target into your hand rather than exiling it. Yeah, I'm take sneak. I think that is pretty likely that through the breach, uh, through the breach wheels once I take sneak attack. And I can actually be a sneak and sneak and maybe show her deck. But uh, not like that. So Grave Dutton is a fine card to sneak, but not the best. Idris swings of you win. This walking ballista with some random artifact synergies or sort of temptation. Not a good card to sneak, but more like a value card. And Fire Islet is a fixer slash and uh, draw spell. I think I might like Fire Islet here. I think that this kind of card is better in a sneak deck just because um you're killing pretty fast, so the damage matters less, and it's nice to have an extra card to dig towards your combo and mana fixing as well. So I'm uh, banking on the Buddha Bitch to wheel here. Now receding song, not a bad card actually with sneak because you can actually play sneak and activate it in the same turn. Same with through the bridge. Dream Horse is a good card. The problem with this, if I want Eldrassis, I can't cast Eldrassis with. The help of Dream Horse because they are colorless, of course. So I could speculate Dream Horse and maybe I get Atrox as well. You know what? I think Seeding Song is sort of kind of whatever. And a deck like this, whereas Dream Horse opens up the door for me to get Atroxa, Grizzly Brand, cards like that. The problem with Grizzly Brand is that I may not have black cards, but Atroxa I can easily play. Well, I'm speculating a little bit on Dream Horse here. Okay, there is a tall. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take that card. It's very good with both sneak and dream holes. So I also caught it, it wasn't even thinking it. Hard evidence, fatal suiting days, all fine, but we are looking for some big stuff here. And now there's Ashen Rider, which is uh hard to get to work with dream holes, but good with sneak because you get into triggers. Also Magma Opus, which is a card I can maybe get like uh uh First of all, I can get Mystic's Master, and second of all, it's great with Dream Horns. So I'm gonna take Magma Opus here, since it uh, also is just a decent two mana card. It's sort of like a, it's a less powerful version of Seeding Song. Underworld Breach I like, but uh, I, I need like too many cards for that to work. All right, first for Discovery, or if, could be a Fixer. I think I'm gonna take first for discovery. It's the fine card that also digs me towards my combo. And through the beach weed. Okay, nice. We are now having our blinders on. We're gonna be a sneak through the breach deck, ignore the twin cards, and just be looking to put big cards into play. Here's Hullbreaker Horror, which is good with dream holes, but doesn't really do much with sneak attack through the breach. Maybe you can sneak it in, cast some spell, bounce some stuff, but I'm still gonna take it though. And we'll we'll see. Take Badlands so that a card like uh, uh, the Delta becomes a fixer. Lord of is a fantastic card, but I can't really use it here. I will Sour anyway. I think it's not good enough to main deck. And I will Seeding some. Alright, I'm getting almost everything I want here. And I like Hard Evidence. I don't think it's a bad card at all. Merc Tide Radiant is too small ball for this kind of deck. So now we have Emrakul. I can't pass Emrakul when I got Sneak and Through the Breach. So it would be very greedy to try and wheel Emrakul. Someone might be on like a shallow grave 
corpse dance plan and take it. So I'm not gonna risk it. I think that Spellseeker will be a fine will as well as Factor in Mr. Conflict. But yeah, I am right wrong. Would not work with Dream Halls, but that's okay. Wrong fixer. And I'm off the twin plan here. So I'm just gonna take a braid as a good interactive card. I don't think Karn is particularly good. It's basically just a card draw engine, which is much worse than the other things I have. All right, there's Force of Negation, which is a good way to protect your combo if you're causing it on your opponent's turns. Way less good during your turn. I'm going to take Atroxa because it works both with Sneak and Through the Breach and with Dream Horse. So, uh, yeah, I'm basically getting almost everything I want here. Here, Layla is a very good card. Phantasma Image is okay. You can double up on a Legend. Maybe I can get Double Trigger. But I might just take. Um, Layla's a fine card, but it's a little off theme. I might just take a Mana Fixer here. I don't have any Mana Fixing in except Fire Islet, and this is a fine card. Okay, now there isn't much for me. The big mog that I used to say. Early play that can ramp me towards some of my stuff. I don't like too much, but none of these other cards are good anyway. I might just take Magda here. And uh our all doesn't do much. I would like some more acceleration, which is I might just actually main deck Magda just to have some acceleration in my deck. I might take Thunder more here though. Alright, I think that uh, Fire Confluence is a good interactive card. It's cruel to make them to go with my Dream Horse, but I already have a Troxa, a Tali, maybe Hullbreaker, Magma Opus. I don't really need. Whereas Fire Confluence is just a good card in this deck. It's a sort of a sweeper and uh, also removes annoying artifacts. Shadow Grave. Or Seatora's Proving Grounds. Or Mana Morphos, which could help me hard cause a track sub, but I need so much mana for that. There's Shallow Grave, but I would need to. I do have a Badlands. And uh, I do have a First Discovery. I don't think I'm gonna play too many of these cards, but Shallow Grave could be a thing. I got Black Faden and, and First for Discovery. So maybe I splash Shallow Grave. Alright, I did with spell, so you can get me hard evidence, maybe Shallow Grave, a braid, iteration. Because of Penta Prism as a ramp card. That also helps me cast uh, Shallow Grave, actually. I'm gonna take Penta Prism. I just think that a little bit of a speed is good. And it also fixes my mana for a shallow grave, potentially. That's not bad at all. And here is a light room and we'll fix her. And uh creeping tarp is a pretty bad fixer. We'll see here where we end up. Whatever it is. Probably not good enough, but we'll see if I play shallow grave. I don't think I have enough enablers right now. I only have two and that's not that's not very good. But I do have good fixing for it if I want to. Okay. Ultimating Dream Wars. <laughs> That's the only way I can reasonably cast a card. Probably not playing Heartbreak of Horror to be fair. I just think that I don't need this type of card. It is sweet with dream holes, but oh, blue mox, very nice, very nice. Not looking to wheel much here. That's okay. My uh, mana ramp car. Does not look like a good tinker deck. While I have mox, and prism, and maybe Magda, it's not good enough. But uh, it's a very explosive deck with 
now with Prism Sapphire Seeding Song, I can get out of the gates pretty fast. Alright, so now there is Scrapwork Mutt to enable my Shallow Grey. There is Ponder, Chromo Seed Shark, which is Nah, that's not that good here. I think it's a fine card. I'm gonna take Ponder over Mutt, I just think. Mutt is not even that good. It's basically only good with Shallow Grey, whereas Ponder is just more solid. And we got Frantic Search, Bitter Reunion. I don't think this is a Sahili deck. So Frantic Search again with the Shallow Grey, it also just digs me. Bit reunion also works. So, which card is better? Frantic search is sort of free, but it puts me down a card if I can't do the calm. Whereas bit reunion replaces itself. I think bit reunion may be better just because the giving haste could be good. Uh, if I like uh, get a dream holes going, so I can like dream holes into play and. Italian attracts and giving it haste could be very important there. And I like the fact that it doesn't put me down a card. And I don't have any mana combos with Frantic Search. Alright, so now there is Wheel of Fortune, Treachery, Reservoir is not for this deck. I don't think this is a particularly good Wheel of Fortune deck. It's not horrendous, but I mean, it is nice with Dream Holes. The problem is that your opponent also can use Dream Holes, so sort of even there. Might just take Treachery as a fine card. <laughs> More Ultimatums. Diplomat Courier, but I think I might like a Relic as a Cyber card. This deck doesn't use the Grave Up 2 or it's just Shallow Grave. And it's nice to have a Cycling artifact cape card. Got right. a third path iconoclast, which I think is a little out of place in this deck. Yes, it creates a bunch of one ones, but what do I do with them? This is not a good mana fixer though. I'm feeling Sky Diver is also kind of with the same problem as that card. I think that Thieving Stider would be a slightly better card here. Forest Island Mountain. There is Mystic's Mastery, so right now I have Magma Opus as a combo. I could like flashback through the breach if it gets countered. And flashback Fire Confluence. I don't think. Can you overload with Dream Horse? I'm not sure. Ah, uh, we can see Tryout Mastery here. And Blood Saint Mario seems like a great fixer here. It uh, even gets me my Trilands. If I so it sort of is a blue fixer as long as I can stand the card coming into play tap. And not playing any of these cards. Probably. Alright, I will the mutt. I'll take it now. I'm gonna cut Hallbreaker. Oh, and Wheel Frantic Search. Okay, so Shallow Grace seems like it could be good here. I'm winning everything. Let's remove some cards. Let's. Um... Mastery. Could also work if I were to uh, loot away Cruel Ultimatum. I think we can remove Magda and Thieving Skydiver. And maybe I remove Relic and put in Cruel Ultimatum. Here's my thing I'm reasoning. My thought is that I can cast Cruel either with Dream Halls or with Miss Mrs. Mastery. So I, I picked up Frantic Search now. So with Frantic Search, with the Reunion. Black Faden and even Magma Opus going to the graveyard. I have a good way to enable Mystic's Mastery. And either I, I target Magma Opus or Cruel Ultimatum. So Cruel Ultimatum works with two of my cards. 
So definitely not going to play any forests or plains. Do I want to play one swarm for my shallow grave? My my bloods and my already get some bad lands, and I do have true triumph, so I don't think I need that. I'm just going to add a an island. Okay, so I like the stick. I think the stick is very sweet. Let's see how it performs. Uh, All right, I'm all dressed up for nowhere to go. <laughs> I'm gonna mull this. I do have some RAM, but only a cycling RAM. Oops. It can do better. Okay, this is definitely a key. So I think I put I, uh, I think I put the mutt. On the bottom, I think it's the worst card here. Bit reunion already digs me, and I do have one cycling land. So if I also I can get me bad lands. Okay, I'm gonna play the the trying just because I do have two cards that digs me. So I don't think I need to cycle this land very soon. And I remove the relic and I have it as a good option for side. Gonna fetch a bad lance here. For an island here. Next turn I'm probably gonna play. Fire Islet and first discovery, so I keep a basic. Vindicating a lack, okay. Fair enough. I guess I'm probably not doing much next turn then. Okay, Atali is a card I can get into play with Dream Holes, hopefully. Although I am a little far away from that. If I draw Shallow Grave, I can Frantic Search into a Tali as well. Or it seems to be some, some sort of four color. I'm probably going to play the island here because I kind of don't want to take damage. And uh, I'd really like to draw a basic land of first discovery anyway. Or nothing. I guess I played first, and if my opponent counters it, so be it. Might as well just get the card out of my opponent's hand. Okay. So I did get there with the Shallow Grave. Tali. I, I don't think I want to do it in open mana, though. I got hopes. I think what I'll do is just pass. I could also Shallow Grave a Tali. At the end of my opponent's turn, and then I get to attack with it as well. But uh, I don't think uh, I want to do it into the, all that open man. Maybe even dream holes at some point. And I'm just gonna not do anything. My opponent is uh, missing land drops. It's gotta have something, right? I could frantic search here just to set things up. And then if my opponent counts it, I can play Dream Horse. Okay, fine. Let's let's uh let's do this now. So we are at the end step. So what I could do is uh, Raid and and go. Then, no, 
one that has to can it, basically. And if I want thus, maybe I can slam Dream Horse. Oh. We shuffle my graveyard back. Power uh, is good for me here because uh, it's got stream Austin. If I want has another answer. What's that truck, huh? I'm gonna get sneak. Uh, I can either get Ponder or Mystic as Mastery, I think. In this spot, I'd rather get Mystic as Mastery. And uh, this is confusing. Lion as well. Then I cross the tall, discarding sneak attack. I don't need it. Also, I could um, maybe just time twister. I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, yeah, I probably should. And in response, I can uh, mag my opus. Response. Oh, I can't respond. Oh, I thought I could respond. I guess not. All right, this is still good. I can. Uh... First, I'm using some of these cards in a long while. I haven't used this. Is first some okay. um, an island. Let's give all my creatures haste. Let's see if my opponent takes 14 here, then fire a conflict should kill my opponent. Strange game. Okay, sweet. Now, I'm not sure what my opponent is doing, some sort of fire color control. It seems like a pretty good matchup for me if that's what my opponent is doing. Maybe actually, Magda is pretty good here. No, it's too late. If I want this and seem to have too many creatures, maybe a mark that could be a fine color. Ah, uh, this hand, huh? Does have Penta Prism and a Trox. I just need a way to get it into my grave. And I'm gonna keep just because I only need um one Discord outlet and then I get a Trox. So. There we go. So I can do turn three. Get an Atrox into play, assuming my opponent has nothing to do. Oh, this is Sunburst, so it only gives me one counter. 
Well, that's unfortunate. I still think I have to. There you go. A very bad Lotus pedal, basically. But what are you going to do? Next turn, I can frantic search. If my opponent taps out, which my opponent did not. But I do have Mystic's Mastery to do it again if it doesn't work. So I'm just gonna do it just because um I do have a Mystic's Mastery if it doesn't work. Okay, so I'm gonna discard a Troxa and an Island. And so let's take maybe conference. Ding. Scrap for Mutt. Land. And then I can either take first discovery or magma opus. I think with this hand I'd rather have magma opus because I have a mystic as mastery. And I could use waste a counter on Penta Prison to cast the Mutt, and then I wouldn't have to discard your hand side. Or I can, yeah, this seems, seems fine. So I draw some cards, got a huge lifelink swing. And I still have ways to get the Shallow Grave back if I, the spot becomes like it's good. But I could also use Magma Opus and Mystic's Mastery, maybe. We'll see. Meet the crack. Wow, didn't expect that. All right, so now what? Um, so if my father has Ulla Morgan dead. Um, play this card and dig, and I think I should just make my own sneak attack. Not that it does much right now. Yeah, I'm just dead to Ulla Morg, I think, but as much as I can do that there. Because I haven't, oh, that's less brutal. It's still bad for me, but it's not the end of the world. But this could just be the start of, start of the game. Targeting a land, that makes sense. Oh, okay. I mean, it, this is, this is bad for me, but it's not backbreaking. Vindicate beat the reunion. Okay. Sure. Ooh, there's M record. So if I can do that. So what I'm gonna do is discard a magma opus and then if I draw a land I can sneak in. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's gotta be the play. Right, so I'm gonna Discard Magma Opus, hope to draw a land. If I don't draw a land, we'll see. But my opponent doesn't seem to have 
any huge card put into play. Could have like a Venser, but what are you going to do? Okay, that's not a land, but the question is, do I want to waste my treasure to try and find? Or should I just cast Sneak Attack? I could also cast Mystic's Mastery. I think Mystic's Mastery is the best here. It is um, less susceptible to like a Leyland Binding. Because if I cast Sneak Attack, my opponent could just have Leyland Binding. Four to you. And this draws me two cards, put a four for into play. And Wander, looking for a land. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep these. That's fine. But also fire conflicts is lethal, so my opponent has one turn to Ulamog me. Fortunately, this is a sorcery, so that would kill me. What are you going to do? I, my opponent hasn't had it yet, so I'm just going to hope my opponent doesn't have it. And there is no way for me to instant speed put the Emrakul into my graveyard. Otherwise, I could have shuffled my graveyard back. So do I go for sneak or fire conflicts? I think. I like Fire Confluence just because it's better against the um, Leyland Binding. Oh, 6 to you. Sure. All right, we got her. I think I keep this. I just need to ponder into a good threat through the bridge, and I have a lot of draw steps as well. Bad. So I have all the lands I need, so yes, I shuffle. And obviously a bit of reunion over expressive duration, of course. Oh, that's a uh, good card. 1-1 one, one looter, and if no one plays a spell, it becomes a 2-1 Ophidian. That's unblockable as well. I think I can get rid of Fire Islet here is the worst land, and I have a lot of ways to dig. I don't really need the. Do I want to play the Mock Sapphire, or do I want to slow roll? I think I want to slow roll it, just seems. I don't want to expose it to like. I don't know. The only Relic War, the March of Otherworldly Light, stuff like that. It also could have helped me flip back this card if. Or it could be the only spell I play for a turn. So I think I want to slow roll the Mox here. Also, be that Maltese Reanimator deck, so it might just be better for my opponent to have it as a one. Although, reboot, <laughs> that's the reason not to play the mocks, I guess. But the question is, do my opponent even take the mocks here? Because, yeah, I, I thought so. I thought my opponent wouldn't bother with the mocks when Fruit of Beach is such a threatening card. Oh. Nothing great so far. I think I'm gonna play iteration. I'll throw into mana type. First, Penta Prism Crudel to meet him. I like this because I can put Crudel into my graveyard and then mastery. So I think I like to put Crudel to meet him in my hand. First on the bottom, exile the prism. And I can play Badlands. Mox and even Sunburst. The next turn I have Frantic Search into Cruel Ultimate with the Mystics' Mastery. Can I overload Mastery? It's actually very close. I'm one mana short of overloading it because I have seven mana. Okay. Pressure is building. I think I can. No, I don't. I have. I think I can hard cause cruel as well. And then I can do it again. So we'll see. Because I can fetch for like black with bloodstain. Or red, 
has to be read. Play these cards apart. I think I used to discard an island then. Because I want a hard cost cruel and then I can master it afterwards. Ooh. Now I can even overload Mystics' master at some point. But I don't want to do it now though. So if I frantic search and then I can maybe overload master, but it doesn't not even in that good. So what I'm gonna do is Practice for red. Red, red, blue, blue, black, 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 and cast Poodle to me. And then next one I can miss success mastery my entire graveyard if I want to. Oh, I need a mana. But that should be doable. I'm drawing three cards here. Well, it loses the entire hand. Oh, yeah. The, I find sweet stuff. I do have a shallow grave and sneak, but no creatures. But next time I can start with frantic search. Maybe an overload mastery. It will also gain me five life, which is very important here. Shallow grave. This five door creature can sneak it rather than shallow graving it. Spell seeker four. Fortsis, maybe. Fortsis would be bad for me because my combat could Fortsis master. And then I would have to top deck. XU. That doesn't bother me. Yeah, my opponent can get like a great Titan next turn, but um, so let's. Uh, I do have everything I want. Let's start by frantic searching. Oh, the tall is nice. So let's discard island and a lot of options here. So. I can Seeding Song Mystics' Mastery, or I can Hard Cast a Tali or Sneak it into play. Maybe I can actually do everything. Let's see. Hard Cast Seeding Song. Let's uh, overload. Shallow grave. Uh, that was a little bit of a bad play. I could have gotten a tall into play. Oh well. Let's guard hard evidence and first rediscovery. One of the sickest turn in vintage cube I've done. In my hand, the top and the bottom, grade is exiled. I think I need to throw my opponent back. It's cost 
Let me get that. Let's kill my opponent. Oh, that's no cards in hand. Oh my god, that was one of the craziest turns I'd ever done in Vintage Cube. So I think I should put in Relic because my opponent showed me Exhume. And while that's not great with Shadow Grave, I can maybe find a way to get around that. And uh, what's the worst card? Probably like Scrap Drop Mutt. I think Treachery is good like a, against a, like a Grave type. Alright, so this is not great because the Panther Prism only adds two. Emerald doesn't work with Dream Horse. I'm gonna ship this. Alright, this is a little better. I think I put Stretchery on the bottom. I just think it's a little too slow and the Opus plus if Opus can ramp me and Frantic Search can dig me into something good with Sneak Attack. And I think Treachery doesn't really belong in this hand. Relic. Oh, that not bothers me too much. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna end of turn discard Magma Opus and then hope to dry the Mystic's Mastery or a big threat with Sneak. Okay, that's fine. Oh, actually, let's see. Still. Okay. Our confidence would also be pretty nice. Okay, so now. I still think I'm gonna work on an assumption I got some amount of time here. There is fire confidence, which is very good. The problem is that Mox and Island doesn't do much for me. Fire Confidence does deal with the board, but where do I go from there? Um, I guess I'll, I'll put Fire Confidence on my hand. That, and then I exile the Mox. Play the Mox. Play the Mountain. And uh, that's the turn. I could like. Cycle away the relic. The problem is that it hoses my away my magma opus, but maybe I don't know. Or I could wait. I, again, I'm not under that much pressure on the board. Come on, it's fine. Yeah, so let's just wait. Next time I can deal two to everything and kill the green monolith. Fire Confluence. Ooh, that's a thing. I think I'm gonna start with um, maybe like a little bit of a bait. So I'm trying this. And if it has a counter spell, maybe it doesn't have a counter spell for my nonsense next turn, which is probably Frantic Search into Shallow Grave. Is my whole task counter spell fine? Yeah. No, I baited it out. Very good. Turn next turn, unless my whole has another interaction card, but so be it then. That's brutal. But I could. Do it in response. The problem is, of course, yeah, I'm in trouble here because even if I get go off in my upkeep, uh, I don't know how I get out of opposition. We'll see. So. Here. 
let's um, work like this. Oh, here's my success mastery. That could be good because I could. Oh, so first of all, let's discard Atraxa and. I can uh, I can maybe mastery fire conference get rid of my opponent's board. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna take Emraku. Back Faden, Ponder, Island, Cooley Bridge, Quilsic, then I can go to my main face. I'm sure the jungle of lines here, there was maybe a way for me to win this turn, I don't know. Oh crap. I forgot that. Alright, well. Let's start by attacking. And uh So, what I could maybe do is through the breach and emrakul and kill my opponent, but it's gonna be hard for opposition. Let's ponder. So how do I win this? So it could either be mastery for our confluence with my opponent's board or through the breaching at some point. I don't think I can wait for my opponent to take uh, all the damage from Peter Blossom. Alright, so let's see. Here's the problem. I can't really through the breach here because my opponent just uh, taps my M record. I guess I just uh, wait on this powder.
hard to see a way out here, unfortunately. All right, let's just play a next game. I don't think I can get her, get out of it. All right, so opposition, huh? That's not much to do about opposition. All right, this hand is okay. I can uh, blood stain into a triome, and then I have frantic search. So we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. That was a complicated game. Maybe I could have won in some way. But if I float the second time, I still can't cause an instant. Ryan gives me blue. Oops. Lord Evidence and let's try another try. So I have all my manas now. I do not have blue mana. Which is a concept. But could get it with Imperial Seal. I don't think I can mill my opponents, but my opponent might just get Grave Titan here too. That's gonna kill me pretty fast. Okay, so a bit reunion. Maybe I should just go frantic search here. I think that uh Oh, so let's see. Let's get rid of. I have a little bit of a plan. Let's get a reunion and. First, my plan is to. I think my opponent got sneak attack. My plan is to end of turn make a top. Treasure with Magma Opus and then Treasure my opponent's Grave Titan. I didn't see much my opponent could do against that. But I think my opponent got Grave Titan here. It seems very natural to, to do that. Oh, Mind Twist. Okay. Well. That also makes sense. Okay, so my whole got rid of my hand. But uh, yeah. Go cracked blue. Go fire eyelet cracked at the end of turn. Right now I need cards, not mana. Okay, so that kind of foiled my plan, but I don't think I could have played it in much of a different way, maybe. Maybe I could. If I draw my sixes mastery, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to overload it, but that's the islet here. Deep reach. Okay, so now I'm looking for just an emerald. These are not good enough. Okay, so uh M record would be good. It would be absolute end of the game because of this bitter blossom, but there's blue. Absolute worst. I guess I just feel free to everything. Oh, 
get off the board and pop the top to here. Am I cool or something? Now I'm cool. It's still not lethal, but because of the one number. Seeker. If you get Counterspell, at least you can use it this turn. That's you, okay. I don't have any creeps in my graveyard, but my opponent's Exhume also doesn't look like fantastic. Alright, let's just crack this now. I don't have anything. Yes, physics is mastery, but I still need to draw. Ah, Dream Horse is not great here. But it could be okay if I. I don't know. Still no second blue. I don't think I even cast Dream Horse here if I don't draw anything. The Night King, okay. Ooh. That is good. It's not lethal, but it is good. Concede it. Okay. I unfortunately, gonna have to cut the video short because I'll need to leave. But I, I really enjoy this video. It's really sweet draft. So thank you for watching and see you next week.